Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Q Salazar from GameCrate.com. We're here at E3 2015. I am at the Maximum Games booth, and I just played a new game called Loading Human, which is a virtual reality game that is going to be coming out on Project Morpheus, uh, the Valve set, Oculus. I'm here with one of the developers of the game, Flavio Parente. How's it going, man? Oh, it's going good. <laughs> really so good. can you tell us a little bit about Loading Human, what it's all about? Sure. Uh, so, um, Loading Human is an adventure game. So basically, um, think of it as Monkey Island uh, and uh, Interstellar mixing together in virtual reality. Um, you are in the body of a, uh, of a guy called Prometheus, and basically you need, you have a mission, which is taking uh, an energy source for your father. The energy source is on the other side of the universe, so you'll have to take uh, a spaceship and go to the other side of the universe, take it, and go back. But of course, uh, there's going to be Many, many problems between in this mission. Uh, yeah, there's like a huge story behind it. So in the part that I played, I was in a house. I had to shut down a window yes. because of a, a magnetic storm. A magnetic storm. What's, what's going on there? So basically, uh, in this uh, the setup in this world of Loading Human, it's set up in the 2185. And uh, Earth has problems. Um, humanity is relying on a new type of energy. Uh, it's the dark energy. And uh, this is making troubles in the magnetic fields of the Earth. Oh, and you have magnetic storms coming up. And in order to avoid having a, a, the magnetic storm to just uh, turn off the whole base, you need to close with shields, you need to close the Arctic base. This is one of the first uh, tasks that you have to do as a character. Mm -hmm. uh, but the first task you will have to do, you didn't do here because uh, it's still not implemented. Okay. You are in the front of the mirror and you have to shave yourself. Oh, man. Yeah, this is going to be fun. So, yeah, the controllers are two PlayStation moves yeah. uh, for this particular demo. So it had at first try, it seemed like it'd be kind of difficult to try that, but well, I guess that's just takes sometimes. Yes, yeah. as soon as you get accustomed to it, you you, you don't go back. Whenever yeah. you, if you take it, because you really in virtual reality, you really want to like lean forward and take things mm -hmm. because you have this sense of death. So the, the next step, natural step in controlling controlling virtual reality is having something that you can actually move in virtual reality, and this is your body. So you want to see your hands and move your hands. It's, it feels so natural after a couple of minutes of playing uh, of gameplay. And yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think it's the future. And that's why when we started Kickstarter two years ago, we were one of the few thinking that motion controllers would actually be used in virtual reality. And then in the, late, in the last uh, six months, maybe, yeah. Oculus said they were doing Oculus Touch. The Vive, the Volvo, Volvo um, uh, headset is coming out with controllers. And so everyone is, is pushing motion control in virtual reality. So it's perfect for loading you. So what kind of options, as a game developer, what kind of options does virtual reality give you? So many. Thing is, what kind of uh, what you need to shape the design around virtual reality. You need to shape it around the sense of presence, the fact that you are in a place and you feel that you are in this place. So everything you do needs to be thought with this in mind: the fact that you are putting the gamer in a place where the whole the whole game is around him. It's behind him. It's close. So, as um, a very fairly simple example, if someone is calling you, you actually need him to tell your name and you need him to just say something so that you can turn to him and then he's going to talk to him because you might miss him because you don't control the view it's not like in a game where if i want i can just move the view of the gamer wherever i want and i can no you, and no cutscenes mm -hmm. how do you do a cutscenes yeah. everything is in first person right. so the cutscenes needs to happen but you need to be free within those cutscenes to move around so it's um you, it's it's an, it's a paradigm shift a lot of things are changing in, in w when you do a game in virtual reality, but it's so it's so amazing. I mean, you okay. know, there's so many po possibilities. I okay, <laughs> okay. So finally, when is Loading Human coming out? So uh, we're aiming for quarter one, 2016. Okay, which is basically the date when the headsets are gonna come out. Okay, that's basically because still, you know, preci no precise dates, but that's where we're aiming. Okay, well, that's all we have today for Maximum Games. Loading Human, check it out. Check for it next year. Thank you, Flavio. Thank you. Appreciate it.